Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. Quick side note, I've started looking at my analytics on YouTube, which I never really was into looking at before, but I just, you know, I was just browsing them the other day. And I saw my subscriber, like percentage of people, like the percentage of people that watch my videos who subscribed and not. Like 55% of y'all are not subscribed, so I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead. Ooh, it's nice and bright out here. I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and stop what you're doing right now and click that subscribe button if you're watching this video, if you have not subscribed. Some of y'all might have accidentally unsubscribed. Some of y'all probably just don't realize you have not subscribed. So just do your girl a favor and click the subscribe button. Thank you to the 45.5% of you all that are subscribed and do loyally watch. I appreciate you all. I love you all. Mwah. Anyways, now that that's out the way, um, doggy one and two, let's go inside came to get the pups. I'm home in Houston, Texas. I just got home last night. Come here, husband, I have a treat for you. I just got home last night. And y'all know I've been doing all that East Coast, West Coast stuff. So I just, <laughs> I slept until, it's like, it's 12 p.m. here now. So I pretty much slept all morning. I'm just trying to get my sleep pattern back together. So, so if y'all remember when I was in San Francisco, I went into the little chocolate store and I got these goodies for my babies. Now it's time to give them to them. So I have two very bougie dogs, especially this one. She's really picky with what she eats. So here you go, mama. You gonna take the cookie? Good girl. All right, Aspen, come here. Come here. Here you go, baby. Okay, he has to do like a taste test first before he takes it. Good boy. So. We'll see if they eat them or not. <laughs> okay, Aspen likes it. He always likes stuff. He's just greedy. See, this one. She does like it. I just had to give her a moment to eat it. Yay, Din Din. Yay, Mommy. And Mr. Greedy over here. Look at him, trying to savor it. <laughs> Good morning. It's been like a day or two since we've talked. Um, I haven't been doing anything at home. It's like routine for me. Like the first two days that I come home, I just lay in bed all day and do nothing. It's just like I just want to soak up the feeling of being home. So now I'm finally out and about. Um, I don't know if y'all remember, but for my 2018 goals, I put that I wanted to run a 10K. So I downloaded this app on my phone. It's called Couch to 10K. And so it basically trains you. I think it's like a 14 week um, training period. And it helps you build up stamina, I guess, to be able to run a full 10K. So I'm out here at some park by my house. I forgot the name of it, but it's super nice and cute. It's a big old trail with like lakes. Y'all can see like lakes and stuff. So I'm about to do that and then carry on with the rest of my day. Hey, hey. So my run this morning was so good. Like I feel good. Like I run all the time, but I don't know. Maybe it was just something about, I don't, I don't know, but I just feel good. <laughs> so weird. I just feel good. Um, but I'm headed to go get a haircut little shape up my barber has changed his location so I'm gonna show y'all um, I don't know if I've ever told y'all but he's also a photographer so he's got a studio to where he's combined like both of his businesses so he has his, um, his salon in there and then he also part of it is set up as like a studio for him to do um, photography and things like that it's kind of cool I've been one time already but I want to take y'all along and show y'all um, and I don't know if y'all can tell, but I, I kind of lighten the girl up here. I got bored when I, you know, I was sitting at home for two days not doing nothing. And I was like, you know what? It's about to be March. The sun is out. I want my little crown to shine a little bit. <laughs> so I colored her. It's kind of like a, a reddish, a reddish brown color. I like it. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to run a few errands, go see some of my friends. 
they got kids and stuff. I have a lot of friends that have kids. I don't know where they all popped up from, but now all my friends got kids. So I need to go see a few of my friends and they babies. And then I'm gonna go church tonight. And yeah, that's it for the running of errands. I do like this color. It looks really good, especially with the towel. It looks soft. Yeah. Say hi. What's up? <laughs> hi guys. So it's Wednesday night, and my favorite pastor is at church tonight. Gonna preach this good word. It's been a minute since I've actually been able to go to church because I've been working Sundays like crazy lately. So I'm just walking on up. I'm a little late. It's rodeo season right now in Houston, so the roads are crazy and I kind of forgot about that. But I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Before we get started with the word, we have a special guest who has come in uh, from LA and she is the star of a new movie called A Wrinkle in Time. And I want you to put your hands together for a phenomenal, gifted young lady who is shaking Hollywood and taking it by storm. Please put your hands together for Storm Reed. This is the last day of Black History Month, and I want to say something about this young lady and what she is a part of. She's a part of the first movie in the history of Hollywood that is directed by an African-American woman with a budget over $100 million. And it stars a couple people that we've never heard of, Reese Witherspoon, Oprah, something. And, I don't know, whatever. Apparently she had a talk show. Um, but Storm, we just want to welcome you and tell you that we celebrate you. And it takes a great deal of courage to be in Hollywood, but not to allow Hollywood to get in you. How have you been able? Yeah, let's make some noise for that. How have you been able to maintain your faith while pursuing, you know, your dreams and working on projects like this? Um, well, I just want to say thank you guys for having me and thank you for having me up here and, uh, and celebrating this special night. Um, but I, I would say it, it, just my family and my mom and I, my life is centered around God and faith and I wear a mustard seed every day. Um, and I, I know, um, I don't know if I'll be acting in five years or I don't even know if I'll live in LA in five years, but I know if I have faith in a mustard seed that God will move mountains and I know Good morning. So I am at a middle school here in Houston, Texas. Um, I'm a part of this group on Facebook. It's um, a flight attendant page and they were asking for some people to come out and do a career fair at this middle school. So that's what I'm here doing today. Um, not really sure what we're exactly supposed to be talking about. I guess just giving the life of a flight attendant. So I decided that since I would be home this week, I'll participate in it. So let's see how this goes. Career, career day. day. Just finished career day Thanks with a, a few Southwesters. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so it's fun. Southwestern Airways. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the kids loved it. We educated them real good. And yes, we did. Now we're going to eat. Yeah. Some yeah. Food. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Hi, guys. Say hi, guys. And she eats. Rocco's being jealous. Y'all look at Rocco. Hey Rocco. Hey Rocco. Hey. Say bye bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> See you for your birthday. What you want for your birthday, Kai? You want to walk. That's what you want to do. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'm headed on an adventure. Um, I think I already told y'all where I was going, but if y'all don't remember, then too bad. It'll be a surprise. 
Um, but just a quick update. Um, I didn't really get to hang with my mommy these past few days like I wanted to. She was busy and I was being lazy. So, but um, as far as the our client that was purchasing a house, he found a house, really nice house. Um, they had a lot of hiccups throughout the process. The appraisal came in low and the people that were selling the house um, didn't have any equity in the home and they're selling the house because they can't afford it. So they had to make a lot of things happen and work to get this deal closed. But they did the walkthrough today. Sorry I wasn't there to vlog it. I was at the career day earlier. But, um, but they're closing tomorrow, so he'll be a homeowner tomorrow. <laughs> so exciting. Um, but yeah, that was just the update that I wanted to give you all on that because I told you I would update you. That wasn't the way I planned it, but hey, life happens. But yeah, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, please do not forget to subscribe. The 55.5% of y'all that are watching and not subscribed, go ahead and click that button now. I appreciate it to the 45% of you all that are subscribed. Love, 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 love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Until next time, bye!